What's up guys? Welcome back to The Educated Barfly. My name is Leandro Demon Riva, and today we're going to be making a painkiller cocktail. So I thought it would be nice to um, do another tiki cocktail. It's been a while since we've done tiki drinks and I thought this one would be a really good one. Not to mention the fact I got some new products to unveil and I got this amazing tiki mug. So Alfred Ramos who runs Staggerly Goods, which is one of our channel sponsors that does these lovely aprons. You should check them out. Um, went to a tiki bar and he got me this lovely tiki mug and sent it. So there is a brand new tiki bar called uh, Bon Voyage in San Francisco where he is based. Um, and they this cocktail, this uh, tiki mug, which is made by Mun Tiki, is part is is used to serve one of their cocktails. And for forty bucks, you can actually buy it. And he bought me one and sent it. So now I feel like I gotta make a tiki mug with this amazing tiki mug or a tiki cocktail with this amazing tiki mug. Usually I do stuff in a clear glass that you can see because I think it's important that you see the cocktail and see what it's supposed to look like. But I don't have a vessel big enough to hold this cocktail. It was definitely made for a tiki mug, so we're going to be using a tiki mug. Maybe I'll just describe the color for you guys. Anyway, the painkiller was invented by a bartender named Daphne Henderson in 1971 at a bar in the British Virgin Islands called the Soggy Dollar Bar. The reason why it was called the Soggy Dollar Bar is because it was only you were only able to get to it from swimming. So, it's 1970s. You need to go, you want to go to this bar to get this amazing drink that everyone all over the islands and beyond have been talking about. You're in the Virgin Islands. You want to go, but you got to swim there. So it's 1971, your money's getting wet. Hence the dog, soggy, do, uh, soggy dollar bar. Cool. So first thing we are going to do, my friends, is put four ounces of fresh pineapple juice into our tin. Then we are going to do one ounce of coconut cream. Today we're using coconut cream from a Liquid Alchemist, which is one of the kind of my go-to places for um, commercially produced syrups. They do everything uh, in-house and they do everything in a very natural way. And they're making coconut cream, which is awesome because the only coconut, there's only like two major coconut creams on the market. There's Coco Lopez, which this drink calls for. And then there's the Coco Real, which I really don't like. And I think it has chemicals in it. I'm pretty sure it does. I'm not going to say that it absolutely does because I don't know. It's been a while since I've looked at that product, but I think it does. And this is really a really good product and it makes a great tiki cocktail. So we're using it. Anyway, I'm putting it aside. Then we're going to do one ounce of orange juice. And then we're going to use two and a half ounces of Navy Strength Rum. Now this drink was originally created with Poussers and they make a big deal out of being the Navy Strength Jamaican rum that you should use. But I am using Smith & Cross because I love it. It is also Navy Strength Rum. It is also Jamaican. It is 114 proof and it is delicious. So full disclosure, use Poussers Rum if you want to do like a very traditional one. But today we're using Smith & Cross. All right, and we're going to add our crushed ice. We're just going to add a little dab of crushed ice. And we're going to do our little whip, we're going to do a little whip shake. And we're just, you can shake this, you can feel free to shake this until all of the crushed ice is completely dissolved into the drink. Where you just use that little dab of ice to like get the chill going, get the dilution going. But really we're going to be adding a lot of crushed ice to this cocktail and that's what's going to be chilling and diluting over time our drink. And this is a very strong one so it needs a little pre-dilution. But the whip shake is basically what I use unless I'm like putting everything into a blender and making it into a, uh, like a slushy drink. There we go, just shake a dake a ding dong. All right, I think that's enough. Not fully gone, but gone enough. And this is a big drink, it needs a very big glass. Um, I'm not sure if I said this before, but another reason why I'm using this tiki mug not only because it's awesome, but also because all of the glassware that I have is like 14 or 16 ounces, and this is too big to fit in it with the right amount of crushed ice on top. But it should be going in a tiki mug anyway. So if you want to see what it looks like, it's like a light pale yellow. Marius is going, ah, you can't see it, but I'm going to pour it out if I do it too much. So here, when I pour it, you'll see it. It's like a light pale yellow, like a, almost look like a banana puree. There we go. That is a massive tiki mug. But that's all right. We're going to just add our crushed ice. It's going to, we're going to have all the crushed ice that we want. All right, here we go. I love it. Look at this. Nice. First tiki mug on the Educated Barfly, by the way. So uh, good on you, Alfred Ramos. 
All right, and then this uh, calls for a couple of different garnishes. First, we're gonna put a straw in so we can taste it. Then I'm going, I did this lovely um, pineapple uh, triangle with a little cherry and a skull pick that I got from the uh, Barfly Mixology gear. And we're gonna do a little orange and a cinnamon stick. And there you have it, my friends. Look at this. This stick is so big, like it like uh, swallows the whole the whole uh, the straw. All right, let's taste it. That's dangerous. That is really, really good. You can taste the pineapple. The rum goes well with everything. The orange juice kind of sweetens it. The coconut cream gives it the smooth, kind of milky texture, creamy, still adds a tiny bit more sweetness, but it's not overly sweet. It's really, really good. There you have it, my friends. The painkiller. Oh, and by the way, Marius had to tell me to do this again because I always forget. But please, if you like our channel, definitely hit like and subscribe. And uh, if you want to view us on Patreon and give us a couple of shekels, that's uh, patreon.com backslash the educated barfly. All right, guys, I'll see you guys next time.